<laughs> hey hey welcome back to the channel it's awesome that you're tuning in so in this video we are going to take a close look at the wii again yep again i did a couple of videos about the nintendo wii in the last couple of days and the reason why because i love the wii even now so collecting for it is a little bit of a bummer sometimes but i made a full review about that so would consider checking it out but it comes with a sensor bar and the sensor bar and the remotes are like epic when it counts for shooters and shooters, games that we have seen before with the PlayStation, Sega Saturn, stuff I did review also here. So I picked up recently, so the Resident Evil kit. And the Resident Evil kit is basically a shoot 'em up and yeah, basically what you're turning this remote with a little bit of Plastic Fantastic into a light gun. Or it's actually in the light gun, it's more like a remote gun, but you get the point. So this thing is pretty damn cool. And yeah, with light, it's absolutely light because it's like fully made of plastic, like very thin plastic, but not like the cheap to the cheap cheap plastic. It feels quite sturdy. And I'll say that it is a quite interesting way how they made this. You know, like back in the day, they made all kinds of weird stuff for the Wii. And this is a great example, but this thing feels like a good quality controller. I don't know exactly how many of these Resident Evil games are on the Wii for the light gun. And yeah, I got, I basically picked two of them up. There was a seller who basically sold the game separately and of course the kit. So I was very excited to get this and just check it out here on the channel. Okay, so Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles was the other game I picked up. And I must say, like, I'm really curious which one of the two are the best. I'm also going to do a quick gameplay, which will give you an idea, like, what I think of it. So both are, like, based on a real shooter, story-based. Another thing I picked up was the Wii shooting game. I came across this thing, like, it was, like, out of nothing on a thrift shop. And I was more like, all right, I need to pick this up. This thing was, like, one euro, so I'm more like, okay. So I just want to see what are the differences between the light guns. And if you want to play it together with a friend, we can do it now. Because these games, what I understand, of are two player compatible. So it's just, again, like on Plastic Fantastic, but this thing is really cheap. So let's give you a quick overview. I'm going to say, like, I really love the grip over here. It gives more, like, this light gun feeling to it. But this thing looks so much cheaper. Still got the same hatch at the front. So you need to slide in your remote. But here we can see, like, there is no connection at the back. So we need to, like, squeeze the freaking cable in it's going to be like completely different experience so i will try out the first light gun the left one with the resident evil game my chronicles i will use it with the second one but you can see like the mechanism in here is made super cheap oh man look at this <laughs> i'm lucky this thing is not used or barely used otherwise i would not be surprised it would be broken okay so how do i connect my wii so in my previous video i got some questions about this so i want to implement it in this video so what we're going to get is the original cable. Yeah, and I must say, like, the composite that comes out of this thing, I really hate it. It's going to look, look like washed out, even you're going to use an upscaler. So absolutely garbage, you don't want to use this. Okay, next up, what we're going to get is the component cable. So if you have a TV that has component, absolutely, I love these cables, because you're going to get you can force it up, up to 480p. And it's not really convenient because you're going to need a lot of plugs to plug it in. And if you like an HDMI monitor, most of the time you don't even have this option anymore. So another great thing is the Wii 2 HDMI converters. There are a couple of them, or better said, like the two of them. This one comes just in two different colors, black and white. But basically it does the same thing like the component cable, but the only thing it converts. So like this, quite beefy. Let's say Wii 2 HDMI converter says 1080p. In my opinion, that's just bullshit because that isn't like we're only having 480p maximum signal output. Then we're going to get the May Flash. This is a more compact edition, but this thing is super convenient. You plug it in your Wii. You even have like an audio out separately with a jack, and you can plug in your HDMI cable. So that is super convenient if you're just having like an HDMI monitor that I'm using in my video. So what I love about this dongle is just you don't need any external power supplies. It's just plug and play and absolutely amazing thing. If you're having a Wii laying around and you don't have this dongle, I would say like check it out. Okay, so let's boot it up. Let's plug in the game and let's go. Okay, so the first control that we're going to use is the original one that came with the Resident Evil game. Okie dokie. So the remote has been configured with the Wii itself. So let's click it in because there's a connector at the back. And that's it. Let's lift up the hatch and we're ready to go. Okay, so what you can do if you need it, you can plug in the nunchuck in here and we're ready to go. Yeah. Okay, so holding the light gun, I can say like it's a little bit uncomfortable because you need to, yeah, you're normally like used to pointing it to the screen. But let's play the game here. You can see like you need to plug in the nunchuck. It says here the V zipper or something like that.
All right, so the first game that we're going to play. So we don't have any save data. I'm gonna say that I don't care. Let's put it on easy mode because I am absolutely a noob in this game. We have archive score, customize an option. Let's click on the Chronicles. The so let's start up the game. Creator of the spreading T virus has practically collapsed. And no cases involving POWs have been reported since the Raccoon City incident. According so what I like about this game, you can play it together with a friend. So I think that is pretty damn awesome. So one of the other features you're missing out with some of the old school retro light gun features. And here you can see like it's absolutely more like this story mode that you play and you just move and shoot zombies. But I'm absolutely noob at this game, but I noticed like the cursor moves very slowly and I do have some struggles getting into this game. So I must say like when it comes to the gameplay and especially when I'm playing on old games, think about Virtual Cop or Time Crisis, still those games had more like an indirect feeling that it works very well. And yeah, maybe it's just this game or it's just me. In the end, like this game looked graphical amazing, so that is pretty damn awesome. But when it comes to the light game feature, I don't really like this game. So let's go on with the next one. Okay, so let's try the different game, the Umbrella Chronicles. So I'm curious if this thing will play exactly the same. Another thing I've been messing around with the sensor bar, I even put it on top of the monitor. I personally didn't like it, so I basically put it back on the bottom part and tried to reconfigure everything. So also we're going to use the different plastic fantastic pistol. And I must say like we're missing out the connection, so we need to squeeze the nunchuck at the back. But let's take a close look at the other game. No, I don't want the freaking save file. Go away! Umbrella Chronicles accessing file number two four nine eight one one four nine RC Biohazard. The outbreak occurred in the summer of nineteen ninety eight. Okay, so this game is from two thousand and seven, so it's already quite some old and still I think it did age very well. Okay, so we're going to put it on easy noob mode again because I suck at this game too. And yeah, I must say like I also noticed some customization options. So I'm getting the idea like this game is slightly, let's say, more extended than the previous one. And it will going to be like the same story stuff like we've seen before. Here we can even reconfigure everything. We can even invert the YX. So this is quite some interesting controller customization over here. Okay, so we're going to get some options on when we want to start the game. Choose your character, like the previous one. And then we can even have some custom customization with the equipment that we're having. So this option didn't see it before, it's pretty damn awesome. Okay, personally I really love the cutscenes, give more like in-depth in the story mode. And it will basically like pull you in. That is pretty damn awesome, that's what I like about these games. Alright, so next up let's play a little bit. And the first thing I'm noticing with this game that it plays way smoother. Like here you can see that the character is still running around. There's not a lot of stuff you can do with it. But the movement of the freaking like cursor works way better with this game. There is more speed in it and I personally like it. Then it have the issues that I had with the previous game. It's still a very strange way to play and really need to get used to it. Oh, yep, he slapped me in the face. Alright. Okay guys, so I think it's a pretty damn awesome piece of technology when it comes to the Wii. I think like the Wii was an awesome system with Wii Sports and the Mario games, Nintendo games, but Resident Evil, and I don't know exactly how many of these shooting games there are, but it's pretty damn awesome. 
And yeah, it depends, of course, what game you're playing. I'm personally liking the Umbrella Resident Evil game more. It got more like this better feeling when it comes to response and the way how the play game plays. Yeah, if you're having two plastics, you can even play together with your friend. And I think that is from old school arcade action. So yeah, let me know, did you ever played it on the Wii? And what did you think about it? Personally, it's okay, depending what kind of game you're playing. And yeah, the remote or the remote holder, the original often. The Resident Evil kit is way better. But I thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Become one of the Wicked family. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite shoot games for the Wii. And it would be great to see you in the next video.